how are you i hope you are fine now this is the second part of the story of chapter number 2 the thief's story we have already done the other part now this is the next part anil was asleep a beam of moonlight stepped over the balcony and fell on the bat now anil was sleeping he had put the bundle of notes under his uh, pillow and then he was sleeping i sat up on the floor considering the situation if i took the money i could catch the 10:30 express to lucknow now hari singh was in dilemma that whether to take the money or not whether to drop the money or not so he thought that if i uh, steal the money just now he is in sleep so if now if just now i will take the money then i'll be able to run away from here and then i will catch the train to lucknow and i will go to lucknow i will leave this city slipping out of the blanket i crept up to the bed i was also sleeping near anil i was sleeping downside and he was sleeping on the bed so i went to the bed of anil anil was sleeping peacefully his face was clear and unlined even i had more marks on my face though mine were mostly scars now on my face there were scars and there were no scars on the face of anil this i observed very clearly today for the first time my hand slid under the mattress searching for the notes when i found them i drew them out without a sound i put my hand inside the pillow under the pillow and i tried to get the notes the bundle of notes which he had kept under the pillow so i took them out without any sound because if i will make the noise then anil will get up from the sleep anil sighed in his sleep and turned on his side towards me now when i took the notes from under the pillow anil changed the direction now uh, earlier he was sleeping in the opposite direction his face was not towards me but now when i took the notes from under the pillow he changed the direction he turned towards me i was startled and quickly crawled out of the room immediately when he changed the direction when his face was towards me i immediately ran out of the room because i was in the fear that that if anil will see me stealing the money then what he will think of me what will be his reaction when i was on the road i began to run i had the notes at my waist held there by the string of my pajamas i took away the bundle of notes i came out of the room and then i left the house and i started running on the road i slowed down to a walk and counted the notes 600 rupees in 50s i could live like an oil rich ara for a week or two now when i uh, robbed the money i was not knowing that how much they are what is means i have not counted the money but when i was running on the road immediately it came to my mind that first i should count what is this amount how much money i have stolen so he stopped in between and he started counting and he found that he has robbed 600 rupees and all the notes were in 50s 50 rupee notes were there total amount was 600 and he thought that with this 600 amount i can live a very luxurious life for about on one week or two and after that again i will start robbing again i will rob some person when i reached the station i did not stop at the ticket office i had never bought a ticket in my life but dashed straight to the platform uh, hari singh tells that till now whenever i have traveled in train i have never uh, purchased a ticket because if i purchase a ticket then that much money will be wasted in ticket so without uh, taking the ticket i used to travel in the train so today also i did not stop at the ticket counter and i went to the platform the lucknow express was just moving out the train had still to pick up speed and i should have been able to jump into one of the carriages but i hesitated for some reason i can't explain and i lost the chance to get away now the train was already uh, there at the station and now it was the time to uh, for the train to leave the station but still when the train was going away from the station still i was not able to board the train something from inside stopped me to board the train and what was that i cannot explain what was the reason for that that why i did not board the train that reason i cannot explain 
so i lost this opportunity to run away when the train had gone i found myself standing alone on the deserted platform deserted means lonely there was no one at the platform it was night time so not a pers- single person was there on the platform only i was standing alone i had no idea where to spend the night i had no friends believing that friends were more trouble than help now in this city i was new i was not having any relative any friend the only friend i had was anil and i had left his house so he was thinking then where he should spend the night and i did not want to make anyone curious by staying at one of the small hotels near the station if i'll stay in a hotel if i'll spend the night in a hotel then other other people will be inquisitive about me curious about me that at such a night time maybe 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock why he has come in the hotel to spend the night so everybody will be asking me various types of questions the only person i knew really well was the man i had robbed leaving the station i walked slowly through the bazaar now the only person the only friend which i had in this city was anil so finally i decided that i will go back to the anil's house i will not go anywhere else in my short career as a thief i had made a study of men's faces when they had lost their goods now since i was a professional and experienced thief so i knew very well that how a person feels when he is being robbed or when the money is taken from him what are what are the expressions on the face of that person the greedy man showed fear the rich man showed anger the poor man showed acceptance now if i had robbed a greedy man greedy means lalchi so greedy man will always have the expression of fear afraid he is afraid that uh, oh my money is gone now what i will do rich man showed anger if i uh, rob the rich people then they are angry at me they are angry at the thief and if i rob the poor man he shows acceptance he can't do anything he is a poor man he cannot find the thief he cannot hand it over to the police so he has to accept whatever is the reality whatever is the situation he has no complaint on his face but i knew that anil's face when he discovered the theft would show only a touch of sadness but this thing it was very clear to me that when anil will come to know that i have done the robbery or i have stolen his money then he will be sad why not for the loss of money but for the loss of trust why because anil has trusted him very much though he was a stranger for him but anil has kept him in his house he has given him food to eat he has uh, been very friendly very caring towards the thief and af- what is the result of this trust what is the result of this belief he has cheated me this anil will think now that hari has cheated me hari singh has uh, done cheating to me he has given a negative response of the trust which i had done on him i found myself in the maidan and sat down on a bench that night was chilly it was early november and a light drizzle added to my discomfort now i had not reached to the house yet but i stopped in the maidan and there was a bench in the maidan so i was sitting there and it was night time it was winter season in the month of november my shirt and pajamas stuck to my skin and a cold wind blew the rain across my face now the wind was blowing and the rain was also there rainfall was there in the winter season sometimes it rains so my shirt and the pajamas they have become wet due to rain so they have uh, they were stuck to my skin i went back to the bazaar and sat down in the shelter of the clock tower the clock showed midnight it fell for the notes they were damp from the rain now i went back to the bazaar i uh, came in the bazaar and i was sitting under the shelter of the uh, clock tower there was a clock and under the clock i was sitting and the time which was shown in the clock was midnight and i realized that the notes which i have put in the pack, uh, pocket in my pocket which i have stolen from anil they have become wet due to rain anil's money in the morning he would probably have given me 2 or 3 rupees to go to the cinema but now i had it all i couldn't cook his meals run to the bazaar or learn to write whole sentences anymore now he was realizing that what mistake what fault he has done by stealing the money from anil because 
now if he has stealen, uh, stolen the money from anil he cannot go back to his house again now if he cannot go back to his house again what all things he will be missing he will be missing of going to cinema every day anil used to give him some money so that he can go to cinema and watch a movie he would also be missing to learn the sentences to write to read anil was teaching him how to read how to write so now that will be no more because nobody is there now to teach him how to read and how to write the sentences i had forgotten about them and the excitement of the theft so he thinks that when i was doing the robbery when i was stealing the money i was not at all thinking about all these benefits which i had in anil's house only the thing was the money the only idea in my mind was to have the money from anil was to rob the money from anil so in front of this money i was not able to think anything more any other good thing whole sentences i knew could one day bring me more than a few hundred rupees till now he was thinking that if he will be educated he could uh, better gain the mastery in the profession of robbery in the pro profession of stealing things but now he understood that if he will be educated or if he will become an educated person because of anil he can lead a respectable life why and what is the need of doing the robbery for an educated person if a person is educated he can get a very a well job a very respectable job he can will also get respect in the society then what is the doing of doing what is the uh, reason for doing the robbery it was a simple matter to steal and sometimes just as simple to be caught but to be a really big man a clever and respected man was something else now anil thought that for a person to steal the things to rob the things is very easy after robbing he will run away that's all nothing he has to do with intellect or he does not a robber does not have any respect in society only the people who are after the robber are the police it and it is easy for the police also to catch the robber but if i will become educated i can live a respectable life in society i will have respect in society everybody will respect me okay and i will also become great with respect to the manners with respect to the lifestyle so this is more important for me as compared to doing the robbery i should go back to anil i told myself if only to learn to read and write so finally he decided that even after stealing the money i will go back to anil's house because at least there i am able to learn he is teaching me to read and write he is making me an educated person he wants that i should become an educated a respectable man i should also get the respect from the society like he is getting so he is doing something a uh, good for me he is thinking for my benefit so why should not i think for my benefit myself i hurried back to the room feeling very nervous for it is much easier to steal something than to return it undetected now finally i went back to the room because and at the same time i was feeling very nervous that how i will face anil anil knew everything now that i have stolen the money so how i will face anil and what will what will be the reaction of anil towards me i opened the door quietly then stood in the doorway in clouded moonlight anil was still asleep when i entered inside the house anil was still sleeping i crept to the head of the bed and my hand came up with the notes i uh, whatever notes i was having i put it back i remained still for a minute then my hand found the edge of the mattress and slipped under it with the notes then i uh, raised the pillow of the anil where the notes were kept and at the same position i put back the notes but still i was very much afraid from inside i awoke late next morning to find that anil had already made the tea now in the next morning when i got up i saw that anil had prepared the tea for me till now it was my duty to prepare tea for anil but today anil has prepared the tea for me he stretched out his hand towards me there was a 50 rupee note between his fingers when he brought the tea for me he uh, opened his hand in front of me and i saw that in his hand there was a 50 rupee note my heart sank i thought i had been discovered so now i felt more afraid more nervous because i thought that now he knew that i have stolen the money and that's why he is giving me 50 rupees 
I made some money yesterday, he explained. Now you will be paid regularly. See the kind-heartedness. See the gentleness. See the attitude of Anil. That why he was giving him 50 rupees as a salary. He told that yesterday I have earned a lot of money. Now I have sufficient money that I can give you salary for whatever you are doing for me, for whatever work you are doing at my home. My spirits rose. Spirits rose means I was delighted, I was excited, I was very happy. But when I took the note, I saw it was still wet from the night's rain. I took the 50 rupees note from Anil and I realized that this was the same note which I have robbed from him and it was wet. Why it was wet? Because yesterday night when I went out it was raining and the notes were in my pocket. So because of the rain the notes have become wet. Today we will start writing sentences he said. He told Anil told to Hari Singh that till now I have taught you how to read the sentences. Now I will teach you how to write the sentences. He knew but neither his lips nor his eyes showed anything. I smiled at Anil in the most appealing way and the smile came by itself without any effort. To Hari Singh it was clear that Anil was knowing that he had tried to steal his money. Still, he was so gentle that he was concerned only with the agitation of Hari Singh. He was not at all angry at Hari Singh that why have you stolen my money? I was trusting you so much. I trusted you as a friend, as my best friend. I brought you at my home. I gave you so many things. I gave you food to eat. But in return to this, what you have given me, you have given me distrust. You have stolen, you have tried to steal my money. So, at this behavior of Hari Singh, Anil was not, not at all angry. Neither Anil told to Hari Singh that you leave my house, you go away from here. In return, he only showed his concern towards his education. So, Hari, was, Hari Singh was really surprised to see such an attitude of Anil. He has never seen such a man in his life. Okay, so this is the story. And this shows the extremely good behavior of Anil towards Hari Singh in spite of knowing that he has done something bad to him. Now we'll discuss two questions are given in the book. In short, we'll discuss. First question is, what are Hari Singh's reaction to the prospect of receiving an education? Do they change over time? See, earlier he knew very well in the beginning also and in the later part of the story also, he was clear, the concepts were clear to him that education is very important. Without education, no person can attain anything in life. But what was the value of education for him before? Earlier he thought that if he will be educated, he can become more skillful, more talented, more intelligent in doing the robbery because his profession was to steal, to rob the people. Okay, to steal their things, to steal their money. So he thought that if I will learn to read and write, then I could do my profession in a better manner. I will be more skilled in that. But later on, in the later part of the story, we, real, we see that Anil realized education in a different manner. Now he thought that if he will become educated, if he will learn to read and write, then he will gain respect in society. He will have honor of, in society. Everybody will respect him. And being an educated person, he can do any respectable job. He can get job in the society and with that job he can earn the money. So there will be no need to doing the robbery or to steal the things from the people. Means now he can lead an intelligent. He can become a clever man, an intelligent man and a respected person. Question number two, why does not Anil hand the thief over to the police? Do you think most people would have done so? In what ways is Anil different from such employers? We observe that Anil, the reaction of Anil was really surprising and unexpected towards Hari Singh when Anil came to know that Hari, Hari Singh has tried to steal his money. So instead of handing 
harassing to the police normally the pe- person would what have done he would have handed the culprit to the police but anil has not done this why what was the reason because he realized that now there is a change in hari singh now hari singh is uh, thinking that i have done a mistake he is apologizing apologizing from inside he is feeling sorry from inside and now he was anil was sure that hari singh would really change in his life he would become a different person he would now stop stealing things and now he will try to live a respectable life in society so anil wanted to give a chance to hari singh he wanted to give an opportunity to hari singh to change in life if he would have handed to the police then he would uh, have spent his life in the prison in jail and he would not have got opportunity to improve himself so he wanted to give hari singh a second chance instead of handing him over to the police and he believes in handling the situation in a sensitive manner so that the thief can get a chance to change himself for the better by doing by not handing over to the police hari singh got a second chance second opportunity to change himself and this opportunity was given by anil himself and this behavior of anil was really different from other people other people would have handed him over to the police and he would have spent his uh, entire life in the prison or jail so this is all about the chapter i have explained this chapter i hope you have understood now in the next video we will come with the other chapter thank you